Land of Big Numbers is a collection of short stories about the experiences of those living in modern day China and its diaspora. The book is divided into 10 different short stories with each story ranging from you know, pretty realistic to more surreal. So there are some elements of magical realism involved in some of the short stories. The opening story is about a set of twins who have very different life paths. So they grow up together and they kind of diverge to go to school. One becomes a professional gamer, the other becomes an, um, an academic turned activist. And it kind of explores how those different trajectories impact their family unit. One of the other stories that's on the more realistic side is about a young woman that goes to work at a government call center taking calls about, you know, maintenance to city streets or not receiving certain benefits from the government. And one day she gets a call from her ex and we learn that he was abusive and it kind of explores how she handles that situation. One of the more surreal stories is about a farmer that grows a new type of fruit that when you eat it induces nostalgia. And the story centers on a community or a village that, um, you know, they start to eat this fruit and have all these memories flooding back to them and what they do with that information. Each of the stories is, you know, really small in scope. Um, they're really intimate stories. You get to know the individuals involved. And a lot of them end pretty abruptly, causing you to consider what happens beyond these stories. And the author, Te Ping Chen, is a journalist who's worked in China um, extensively. And I think it's set up in a really smart way that explores these individuals' lives in a very intimate way when China is you know, such a huge country, um, physically, culturally, you know, global influence that China has is you know, very great. And these stories kind of showcase that amazing diversity that extends far beyond any sort of border um, into its diaspora. And this is a great book to read if you've been feeling distracted lately, you know, you're not able to get through a full novel um, and you're really struggling to kind of, you know, focus on something. These stories are really great for that. You can pick it up, get through one story pretty quickly and, you know, put the book down, come back to it later. Um, and it really forces you to think about how all of these stories are connected to, you know, the Chinese experience. So I hope you enjoy Land of Big Numbers by Te Ping Chen.